Okay, so this is Mathletics.com. Um, some schools have access, some schools have paid for this, some schools don't. I would strongly recommend um, signing up and being a part of Mathletics. There, as you can see from the home screen, there's so many things you can do. I've gone to the results tab. Um, now, this is where you actually set tasks and this is where you keep track of all the results of little activities and assessments. Uh, I've clicked on the, number, the strand money there and as you can see, um, a lot of children have already completed this task. Uh, and a little, neat little um, uh, option of previewing the activity before you set the task. Um, and later on I can show you how to set things that are easier and things that are harder. Anyway, here's just a little preview. This is a stage one um, outcome of money, so it's very simple. $7 minus $6 equals $1. And this is what the kids will see when they're completing the activity very easy interface to use. Um, okay, so I've spotted someone there, she got 75, I'm just going to set that task for her again. Now heading back to the screen, these are all your strands here, these are all your, um, I guess, headings, and within each heading you've got a couple of activities. Um, I've already previewed um, these ones, so I'm actually going to go ahead and um, set this task for all my students. Okay, so you just click that, it's pretty simple. One person hasn't completed their previous um, activities. And that's fine, you can set that for them later. You can see there it's very clear which activities are remaining for the students, yellow. And when they sign in, they don't see what I'm seeing, they see um, very obvious um, links on their home page and they can't do anything else. They can't change their profile, they can't play math games, anything else until they've completed these activities. Uh, mind you, these activities are pretty fun. Um, the kids really do like them. Okay, now I've actually, while I've been talking, I've, I've gone into my extension group. So, uh, another great tool of the Mathletics website is you can differentiate. Um, and what I've got is I've got a, a base group and I've got an extension group. Um, you can choose to create as many groups as you like. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm going through it and I'm highlighting some of the results uh, the students have done activities. They didn't score very well. Um, I'm just ensuring that they do those again. So yeah, they can uh, differentiate the activities um, and you can select from different um, syllabuses. Um, so what I've got there is the year three syllabus 